Well, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Have you heard about Windows 10? Let me tell you about Windows 10. Several months ago, everybody got an email, if you've got Windows 8 or Windows 8.1, uh, that said, you will be able to download Windows 10 free of charge. Well, everybody was excited about it because they told us it was going to be the best thing since sliced bread. It was going to fix some things in Windows 8.1, and it was going to make your computer faster, and it's going to be faster on boot up, and there's going to be more enhancements and more programs and just more of everything, and it's going to be wonderful. Well, let me tell you what. Let me tell you what they did to us. I got a, I got a uh, notification on my computer about four days ago to go ahead and install it because it was already downloaded on my computer by Microsoft. While I slept or while I worked or sometime or another, they threw it on my computer. So I thought, yeah, why don't I do this? And so I went ahead and installed the program. biggest mistake I ever made. It took four hours just to get it in there after all the reboots and the fixes and all the questions and all that and then finally we were ready to boot up. Well guess what? It had erased every one of my passwords to my emails, to my private programs, to certain things that I needed passwords to get into. Those passwords didn't exist anymore. Took every fucking one of them out. And that includes six email addresses. And that means I had to go reload two phones. I had to reload one tablet. I had to reload two other computers with the email addresses. Now it couldn't be the same one so we had to make up new addresses and of course they had to be addresses that we hadn't used in a year. And then we have some more parameters we have to have. Uh, now we have to have two, not one but two capitals or whatever just to make it tough. But let me tell you what, it's been three days and I'm still not putting shit back together. It's going to be a while before I get it done. Whoever, whoever had the unmitigated gall to build a program that would destroy somebody's computer like that has got to be the stupidest son of a gun that's ever walked this earth. He could fuck up a crowbar in a sand pile and then distribute it to everybody. Everybody in the United States, everybody in the fucking world who's got Windows 8 or Windows 8.1 and that's the stuff that's still on the shelf too at the store. They're gonna screw up those computers too. That's stupid. I gotta pay somebody. I have got to go pay somebody to unscrew my computer because of what some dumb asshole did with this thing. Let me tell you what else happened with this thing. Now, my camera programs, they're not compatible anymore. Yeah, I'm on another computer now. I can't be on the other computer that they screwed up, which, by the way, also screwed up the processing speed and the thing runs slower than it ever did. It runs like a 386 now. Remember those back in the 1990s? Well, that's the way it runs. It takes about five minutes to boot up, and it's totally worthless. Uh, then, once in a while, I like to play the solitaire games, uh, solitaire collection, they call it. Well, you know, you get an enhancement if you give them $10 a year and then you get to double your score and you get to go for more prizes and and whatever that might be. But 
you see, you can't do that anymore with Windows 10 because th there's a note there when you boot it up that says, we don't know what to call this. So we took your scores out, and once we get it renamed, we'll put your scores back. I got a hint for you. Why don't you call it Microsoft Solitaire Collection? Put it back like it was and quit screwing with something that's working fine. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Windows 8.1 was doing fine for the rest of us. But you screwed it up. Microsoft screwed that thing up so bad that it's, it's totally worthless to me. I don't think it's worth a damn to anybody. So Microsoft, you screwed up. You caused me some grief, and I don't like it. And if there was another way to go, I would go. But unfortunately, you're the only phone company in town. So why don't you find out whoever it was that screwed up that situation, find a way to unscrew that situation, and offer that to everybody that you fucked over with this program. Okay? That's my thought for the day. Ladies and gentlemen, if you don't have Windows 10 on your computer, please don't even consider putting it on your computer because it will destroy your computer. Thank you. That's my thought for the day.